LSPI has become an issue due to regulatory mandates for improved fuel efficiency. OEMs have chosen direct injection gasoline engine technology, along with engine downsizing and boosted air induction, both turbo and supercharging, to significantly improve fuel economy while maintaining performance. Turbo and supercharging can increase the frequency of LSPI in some engines. Typically, a naturally aspirated engine falls in the BMEP range of 8 to 10 bar. In turbo or supercharged gasoline direct injection engines, BMEP falls in the 10 to 20 bar range. So what is BMEP? BMEP, or brake mean effective pressure, is a tool used by automotive engineers. It is defined as the average cylinder pressure, which, if imposed uniformly on the piston tops over the entire power stroke, would produce the rated power output. It is also defined as a constant, which is K equals 150.8 for a four-stroke engine, times engine torque in pound-feet, divided by engine displacement in cubic inches. If we compare a naturally aspirated engine to a turbocharged engine of the same displacement, the two engines will have different BMEP numbers. The BMEP of a turbocharged engine is higher than the BMEP of a naturally aspirated engine. This means that in a turbocharged engine, there is more uniform force being exerted across the piston tops over the entire power stroke. What exactly is pre-ignition? Very simply, pre-ignition is defined as an abnormal combustion event that occurs prior to spark. In low-speed pre-ignition, or LSPI, the abnormal combustion event occurs between 1500 and 2500 RPMs and can be potentially damaging to pistons, rings, valves, connecting rods, and spark plugs. The circles on the chart represent fuel consumption rates in grams of gasoline per kilowatt-hour engine output. The yellow area of the chart highlights TGDI engines at their maximum fuel efficiency. Maximum fuel efficiency occurs at BMEP levels in the range of 10 to 14 bar with a relatively low RPM of 1500 to 2500. This is dangerously close to the engine operating region where low-speed pre-ignition has been identified. LSPI occurs in the region of high engine torque and relatively low RPMs. The blue area shown in the chart represents the optimal trade-off of drivability, fuel efficiency, and power in a gasoline direct-injected turbo engine. The chart's orange area highlights the zone where LSPI may occur. Notice that while in the optimum range, there is a very real danger of overlapping into the LSPI zone. This could seriously damage your engine. So in order to avoid this region, the OEMs control LSPI by reducing fuel economy. If low-speed pre-ignition occurs, it can lead to severe engine damage, as shown in this series of photos.